Hello there everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the KSP Let's Play. And here we go, blasting off with the launch. That was uh, a little unexpected actually, I thought I had a bit more time before that launch. But I guess not. So uh, this is post-commentary at the moment. Uh, well, you'll see why in a little bit. Mainly because there's so much freaking lag. But I did get a really cool shot like that of an explosion. I love those. There's that uh, wonderful escape system not working really the way I wanted it to. Anyways, uh, this episode is going to be half and half, like half post-commentary, half live, because I finally managed to get this mother of a ship into, or I guess it's not a ship, it's a robot thing, into, uh, into space and around Minmus. So the live part will be trying to land on Minmus. Yeah. We'll see what happens there. Anyways, um, yeah, this is uh, a series of launches. <laughs> I I honestly thought I had it on the first launch, which is why I started recording then. But I didn't, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. We finally managed to get this beast into space. That's really all that matters. I to uh, deal with my gimbling there. Fix that. Yep, there we go. Check those gimbals. Good, good. So yeah, uh, the design. I don't know if I showed the final design in the last episode of this. I basically went back to what I know works almost perfectly, and that's the asparagus staging with those six big canes. And then we have a, uh, a second part there in the middle with uh, three extra small tanks attached to the side. I'm sure you can see it there where the uh, skipper engine is. And that's our orbiting stage, or the stage that will get us into orbit. And the uh, final stage there with the nuclear engine, and there's another explosion. Yeah, so the issue with this ship, uh, I've had this problem before actually with this launch stage, and I don't think it's a launch stage, I think it's just the fact that the ship I'm trying to carry up is way too freaking heavy. So uh, yeah, basically you just, you have to be careful with your, your thrust, uh, and here I am, I'm just readjusting my abort mechanism. Anyways, uh, you have to be careful with how fast you're accelerating. I find if you go too much more over uh, G's of, a G of acceleration, things just kind of break apart. Um, I don't really know why. The uh, Every time it happens, it's because the decoupler that's attached to those orange tanks just snaps off, basically. And yeah. I'm thinking it's the thrust of the engine on that uh, that's underneath that fuel tank, and if I thrust too much with us uh, with it, then one of the engines will just not uh, want to be on there anymore, and just decide to go off on his own little adventure, going up my ship in the meantime. But anyways, that's all pretty much been figured out. So here we go. I believe this is uh, the successful launch. And uh, this is also sped up to three times speed, as you might be able to tell. Because, well, this thing with the launch stage and everything has about 400, 450 parts, I think. I can't remember what the actual count is, but it's it's a hell of a lot, and it lags like a mother. So, uh, yeah. I decided to speed it up for you guys. It makes it look a lot better when it's sped up. It makes it look like it's actually playing at 30 frames a second. Which it most definitely it is not. <laughs> I think it plays at around 10 frames if I get lucky. Yeah, and I've got a decent computer too, it's just not uh, not so good. Anyways, uh, here we go, uh, turning uh, turn to the side, finally getting up to a decent height where I can start doing these maneuvers. Uh, I think this is maybe the, uh, I'm, I'm going to say 10th launch of this thing, and every single launch before this, except for one of them, which I actually didn't record and I totally should have because it was a successful launch. Um, yeah, all of the launches have failed horribly. Big balls of explosion, which we all love, but you know, I kind of got sick of that at one point. I just wanted to get this over with, so I'm glad it finally, uh, finally worked out. So uh, actually coming up in a little bit, unfortunately, will be a really awkward cut. Um, I had to, well, I was kind of forced to make a cut because my power went out. I don't know if you guys heard or if you're aware or whatever. Uh, Toronto on Monday, Toronto, Ontario being the city I live in, uh, was hit by a really, really big thunderstorm. I 
we haven't had that much rain in an hour. In, I think uh, the stats were something like last month, uh, and over the course of the month, we got as much rain as we did in an hour on Monday. So, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, power went out all over the city. It was it was pretty bad. And unfortunately, the power went out in the middle of this recording. And uh, the way I have it set up, I have Fraps set up to cut things at uh, every four gigs. And from the looks of it, that last file that was around was actually probably close to four gigs, almost ready to be completed. Yeah, it uh, it didn't when everything shut down. So I lost about maybe a couple of minutes of flight time. Two or three minutes or so. Anyways, I lost a decent amount, which is unfortunate. But all you really miss is just the, uh, the uh, skipper engine doing its thing. And... Uh, we had to use a bit of the nuclear power as well to finish the last little jump into orbit. They're getting rid of some more weight there. Yeah, I actually had to do a, kind of a weird orbit here because I started turning a little too early, I think, and I didn't have enough thrust because I started turning so early. So I had to make sure my orbit would, um, while the initial aflapsis would not be above the atmosphere, so I'd have to make sure that uh, just burn with the um, the prograde, and eventually you get it above the atmosphere. As long as you always stay before your apoapsis. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, that was the orbit. So now we have orbit around Corbin. We're going to be setting up for our launch to get to Minmus using the trustworthy horizon method. <laughs> where you uh, you look for your target on the horizon, and then that's where your maneuver node should be. I guess you also missed the, um, I made the inclination change, but it wasn't much. I mean, I just used the, uh, the nuclear engines, and they did a good job, as they always tend to do. I did end up using a lot more fuel than I thought I would need. The first successful launch I had, the one I mentioned that I didn't record, actually I ended up having more fuel at the end of the uh, orbiting stage, or whatever you want to call it. Not so much this time, but you know, whatever. It's all good. We got up there, looking good. So we uh, we set that up, and the way it actually ended up working, I had to make two burns because the first burn was super close to where I was at in uh, in my orbit. So yeah, I was I was way way past my maneuver node. I figured at one point I would just stop. So I burned about 400 meters per second uh, around the maneuver node, and then. Figured I'd set up another one, save a bit of fuel that way, take advantage of the Oberth effect. I believe that's the right effect that I'm mentioning. Could be wrong. Yeah, probably am wrong. I tend to be about many things. Anyways, yeah, we're on the last burn here to get ourselves to Minimus. And as you can see in the top left there, I'm actually in uh, physical time warp. It's looking pretty good. It, uh... I think I tried it in four times physical as well, and it was fine. Well, I mean, if it wasn't fine, I probably would have realized and said something. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it does well. It holds holds itself together when it doesn't have like massive launch stages attached to it. Oh, now we got a moon counter there. That's all right. We're now going to the moon. Just finish this burn to Minmus. I do stop it a little early, like I tend to do, and as I think everybody should do with things like this, just stop it a little early, turn off the maneuver node, and then complete the rest of the, the burn manually without the maneuver node, just so you can see things a little better, it clears up the screen a little bit. And yeah, there we go, we have a Minmus encounter at, I couldn't quite see that, around 300,000 uh, meters, that ain't bad, and it's Minmus, so doing orbital maneuvers around there is really not a big deal. Anyways, looks like uh, about halfway through I did have to make a small change because I was actually going to be um, coming around the planet and orbiting the wrong way. I would have been orbiting clockwise. So I made a small change and then got that weirdness right there. So I figured I would just stop before I messed it up even further and would continue my burns a little closer to Minmus, which is what I do right here. So now we uh, we do come in. We're actually going clockwise, or sorry, counterclockwise, but we were a little in a polar orbit there, or almost polar. So had to fix that up. And that's all done now. 
we did have to uh, burn a little bit away from the planet, unfortunately. So we're not at, uh, I think it was around 70 kilometers that we had it set up after that uh, mid... Wow, what was it called? The mid, mid transit, yes, mid transit burn. That's what it is. Anyways, there's Minmus. And it looks kind of crappy. Yeah, I've been playing around with the uh, the rendering and some of the video options just because I want to see if it affected the frame rate at all. And it, it really doesn't, so next time everything should be back to normal. Alright, well, uh, this, this is about it for the post-commentary. As we finish off our burn here, we're going to circularize in a second. And soon enough, oh, there, okay, missing our maneuver note, but that's A-OK. -okay. Because it's just a matter of hitting the retrograde and burning until we get a decent circular orbit. Anyways, I'll stop talking now. I'll be jumping into the live commentary momentarily. We will be attempting to land on the surface of Midmus. Oh boy. Okie doke. Well, <laughs> I'll see you in a second. And we will be crashing and burning. Well, hopefully not. Anyway, see you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Live commentary time. Let's see if I remember how to land. Oh boy. Alrighty, well let's first of all pick a landing site. We are gonna land over here, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. That'll be fine. Alrighty. So we do have a little bit of fuel left in here. Not a whole lot though. Yeah, that's, that's probably going to be enough to get us back to Kerbin, I want to say. But we might have to send a refueling mission out here. Anyways, let us get on with the fun stuff. Where is... Is that the right node? Sure, decouple. Okie dokie. Move forward. Perfect. And leave our... Uh, interplanetary stage behind so that is what it is oh is that the moon over there right in oh come on i can't see it is that the moon or kerbin that's it's got to be the moon maybe yeah okay yeah there we go there's kerbin there's the moon i guess kerbin was just being hit by the uh the robot oh my god okay i don't know what in the hell is gonna happen here did I set these up properly? Okay, good. So I have those firing. Everything else is fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. I'm I'm not looking forward to this. Well, I'm looking forward to the attempt. Not looking forward to the failure, which will likely happen due to this attempt. So I have no idea how this thing is going to land. No clue. Hopefully those uh, those wheels will be will be fine. Hopefully, <laughs> possibly, maybe. I don't know. All right, that looks good enough to me. And let's find our oh, how much RCS do we have? Okay, we got a decent amount. We spent about you know, half of it on the way here, but it was definitely necessary because there was no other way to move that stupid ship around while I'm in space. The, the torque from just this little pod over here is. Not enough. Alright, come on. Show me that thingy. Oh, it's gotta be over here. Brown, that way. Make sure we face ourselves the right way. And I'm hoping to get a... Well, I'm hoping to get it on the first attempt, but if I don't, hopefully on the second one we'll be good. So I don't want to go too long. I really want to cut my episode shorter. I know, like, they they usually run around 25 to 30 minutes, and I feel like that's still a bit too long. I feel like most people maybe might be happier with something like a 15 or 20 minute episode. They'd be more willing to watch the whole thing through. So, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to try for around 20 to 25 from now on, and then work my way down from there. Alright, so we got burn in 4 minutes. Sure, whatever. Okay, we missed our... <laughs> Alright, engine's on. Okay, why you do that thing? What is happening? 
Yeah, those are those four. Which, why does this thing have no... F oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. I thought I disabled crossfeed. Maybe I disabled it too late. Yeah, the center tank is empty. Oh, come on. That's not even fun. And why, why are you spinning out of control, man? Why? 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 Oh my god, this is not, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I spent all this time trying to get out here just to discover that it's not gonna work. Why? <laughs> Damn if I know. Why did it start spinning all of a sudden? That's what I don't get. Because all the engines are working. It's... Balance shouldn't really matter at this point. Hmm. Okay, well... Let's keep that on like that. And... Come on. SAS, stop messing around with me. Just... Just work. Oh, I want to get that. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do this manually, I guess. No SAS. I can't turn towards the thing. And now it's going around. What is happening here? Hmm. That does not make me very happy. I don't really get why it starts turning to one side. That's what I don't get. Are all the engines actually firing or... Oh my god, get yourself under control! We're gonna miss our landing spot. Okay, just stay like that. Are all the engines firing? And it's spinning again. Why? Why you spin? Why, guy? Why you spin? Yeah, there's no gimbling issues. Can you maybe turn these off? I don't think that's gonna matter, though. Yeah, that's off, right? Yeah, it's off. Okay. Okay, we'll get back to where you're supposed to go. And let's try this again and hope that did something.